Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be showing you the various combination and the staggered tiles that you could actually use to achieve these kind of um, UI whether it could be images or images with content combination or just the icon so if you had seen my previous video where um, I had created a dashboard uh, containing charts in this uh, video I'd use the staggered grid view in combination with staggered tile but the staggered tile was of extant combination and if you had seen my dashboard series also I had used staggered grid view but here also I had used the extant um, combination now how are these uh, videos different from the current video is that in today's video I'll be showing you the demonstration of staggered grid view the same but the staggered tile that I'm going to use here is the count one not the extent or the fit we have three combinations in it so we will see all this possible um, combinations today and we will see when to use which staggered tile this using this beautiful staggered grid view plugin so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to find more details about the plugin so today's um, UI is something very similar to your um, uh, Pinterest UI so it's uh, the one on the right side is the pictures I've used this combination where I have one picture or I would say not the picture I would address it as a tile I could see that one tile covering two columns and this one is just one column and in this combination I'm using one tile covering the entire screen and the rest is below this main tile so you can you can achieve this various combination uh, unless you know which kind of a staggered tile you want to use and depending on your use case so before we start implementing uh, let me clear up the template and then uh, give you a few more details about the staggered tile um, combinations and then we will start with the implementation in the staggered tile we have three types we have extant fit and, uh, when I say count it uses two property one is the cross as axis cell count another is the main axis cell count now the cross axis and the main axis are the cell counts basically so if you look at the UI here I, I would consider this as the columns and this as the row so if you look at my first tile it occupies two cross axis cell counts and two main axis cell counts but if you consider this tile it occupies only one crosses cross axis cell count and one main axis cell count so if your UI or your use case is simple like this then you could go for a count staggered tile now when do we go for an extent that is staggered tile with extent is that say for example you want your tile the style to be dynamic depending on the content of your tile say for example you have the content is different when compared to these content in those cases I'm going to use the um, staggered tile extent now for staggered tile extent you have two different properties so first one is the same which is the cross axis cell count so in this case I would be saying I'm going to use two cross axis cell count but my second property is main axis extent now if you ask me what is this main axis extent is it's basically the number of pixels occupied in your main axis so it's not the count it's the number of pixels occupied in the main axis so depending on that uh, you can have your content dynamic and then the last one is the fit fit is it's, it has just one property which is the cross axis cell count and the tile will have the fixed main axis extent so first you need to decide what kind of UI is it whether the content is going to get dynamic or is it going to be just you could use it with row count uh, modulation so you need to find that and then use it since mine was very simple I just wanted to use row count uh, combination so we will see the implementation of this and how to get the other one also all right to start up with uh, if you look at this um, I'm using a barebone flutter project here with the app bar 
and uh, in the body section uh, I've started with a padding uh, just to give that uh, clean layout around these image and uh, then next first thing I'm going to do is add a container I always prefer adding a container and then inside your container you could add your rest of your um, components inside it so for this I'm just going to give a container now inside my container what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the child which is going to be my staggered grid view count so that's the first thing that you have to add so this is the one staggered grid view count now this has a couple of properties that you have to mention so first thing is your cross axis count so in my case I'm giving it four now what does this four me indicate is that the number of columns you want here I can keep six I can keep eight but as and when I keep increasing it uh, the, uh, the items gets uh, it gets crunched up completely so I'm keeping it like four next next property is your main axis spacing now the main axis you have two things so for type it then I'll explain you what this main axis and cross axis spacing is all right so if you look at the UI this main axis and cross axis is spacing between your tiles so this is a perfect example so this is your um, cross axing and this is your main axis spacing so this space you can control with this parameters all right so that's also very important if you want to add spacing between your tiles next now this is where your staggered tile comes into the picture so first one was your grid view now is your staggered tile now this is where you can choose whether you want to use the count extent or the um, fit option so it's going to be an array okay now first i'm going to define my i'm going to say staggered tile and i'm going to use the count property so if you can see here it is asking what do you define for your cross axis cell count and your max main axis cell count i'm going to give two cross two so so what does this two cross two means it means that i'm going to occupy two column and two row so this is what it indicates if i say three cross two then it's going to be until he here so it's going to occupy till here and then it's going to be two so this is my first tile size now let's move on to this one so this one would be one column and one row since it's only placed here if it was placed in this entire section then it would have been one column with two rows so for our ui we're going to use one column one row so this is what the count is all about so instead of count if i use extent just to show you how extent looks so i'm gonna use staggered tile dot extent okay there you go so now here what i'm going to do is if i say four and my main axis extent is going to be the pixel say for example i say 250 pixel then these are the number of pixels that my main axis will contain and this is the number of columns it's going to occupy so if you want to know more details about this extent video then please do watch my um, flutter chart video or my dashboard video i've covered the details in it i'll leave a link in the description also so so now we have covered the first one and the second one so the third fourth and fifth is all of the same size as the second one so i'm just gonna use now we are done with the first um okay now we are done with the first layout then i'm adding a text right so for this uh for example if i had not had this image here then i could have used a container and added the text here 
but now since this has become a part of the staggered grid view i need to consider this also as one more tile so now my this tile is going to be um four cross one that is it's going to occupy four columns and one row all right so for that also i'm using a staggered tile count and this is going to be four cross one so first i'll show you uh the, now we have added the so we have defined the staggered grid view count the spacing and we have told what sizes that each tile should occupy but we are not defining the tile yet so now it's time to define the tile so to define the tile you have to use the children property here and then inside this add your content now what's the content that i'm adding now the content is, is very simple in my ui which is just an image so for that what i've done is i have created a custom um, widget which is my photo list which just takes an image and it is nothing but a container with a box decoration which fills the image uh, to the entire tile and i've used a network image so it's very simple it's one way of addressing an image in your flutter application so all i'm doing is i'm just going to use this particular um widget and i'm going to define some custom images that i have so so if you look at this i'm just calling this particular method or a particular widget uh, and i'm using this um custom image so this way i'm just adding the image but there is one place where i need to add the text so for that i'll show you how to do it all right so i've added uh, all the custom images and um, as i mentioned i've considered this entire text also to be one of the tile so i have to add it inside my staggered grid view so for that also i've created a custom widget which is called caption text and i'm just saying family pics and a subtitle just now now if you look at the caption text it's it's nothing but a simple widget which takes two parameters and these two parameters are nothing but it's a container a column so since i've used a column is as you know it's one below the other and i have ensured that i've used align widget so that i get it on the left if i don't not use an align and just use a the container then it gets somewhere in the center so i also have a video exclusively about align widgets and i'll leave a link in the description please to watch it so all i have is two align widgets here so this is the first one and this is the second one inside it is as a container and these two containers picks up the text from your parameters that you pass in so that's what is this um widget all about So let me build this and show you how it looks. All right, so you can see that uh, the first block of tiles are built, um, as same as the UI that I showed you in the beginning, and this is also another tile. There's another point that you need to remember is that the number of um, count and your tiles have to match. Say, for example, you have your five counts, and if you have your only four of them then you're going to get an error you won't find it displaying correctly so make sure that you define your count and your ch children widgets has to match so that's something um, you need to be aware of it while using a staggered tile and uh, next i'm going to show you this combination so it's all the same the only difference comes in the count property that is instead of um let me show you so this is where the main change happens so instead of 2 it would be 4 so let me show you uh, that particular code also so that you can understand how it works all right so if you look at my other ui i have used um uh, the same staggered grid view but uh the staggered tile count property but the only difference is the uh the cross axis cell count so since uh, you need to judge your ui first so you need something occupying the entire screen so then you need to say since you had mentioned the cross axis count as 4 then if you want it to cover your entire screen then your first property will be same as the cross axis count uh which would be like 2 and this would be like one block look at the ui it's exactly same as the previous one where i had a container a staggered grid view count with the same properties 
so the only diff where it occupies the entire screen so similar way i have also used the last one which is the um the content the caption text i've also considered to be as a staggered tile or else i would not be able to have a combination of staggered tile as mentioned here um, if you consider and ensure that the counts are same so you get this um, combination now if you want i can uh, try out a different combination and show you how it looks so i'll split up this two so that i get here one image and here and the rest two images are below this so for that what you could do is i can say i'm going to say two cross two and this is two cross two and uh, uh hot restart let's see how it looks all right so just by adding another grid so i've used the same image so just to get that feel how you could actually see the po possible combinations that you could get so all you have to do is understand when to use count and use your grid values or the crow axis cell count values accordingly and see you could uh, split this first one instead of occupying the entire you could get this kind of a combination so this is how you use this st staggered grid view and uh, hope you like this video if you do like it please give it a, a like and um, do subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you